Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad right here, Premier Leather Crafters in the dirty, dirty, the dirty south is where I lay my head. And today we just keeping in line right with the same videos, doing fun, small projects that can generate you guys a lot of profit and a lot of, lot of revenue if you just stick to them and hold your guns. So today what we're going to be talking about, uh, just to reiterate and recap real quick for everybody who's just tuning in maybe to this video or that we didn't get a chance to watch the other videos. So here's the deal. What I am doing right here, you know, in leather crafting with the cowboy. And as my thing is, I know as a lot of newer crafters that are coming in into the craft and that's starting to want to make some money off of the projects that they create and that they make. And what my thing is, my thing is just showing you guys, you don't have to jump all in on the big projects. I know if you're part of any type of the leather skills or things like that, and you're seeing all these phenomenal crafts that are being made and a lot of these projects that people are really, uh, um, I mean, really, really, really doing some real nice work. And my thing is before you guys even start to say, well, hey, look, one thing you got to understand is a lot of these crafters that's in the guilds and a lot of these crafters that's out putting out videos and things like this, these people have gotten, they, they have over 15, 15 plus years or better of doing leather crafting. So you can't help but get better or put out phenomenal projects like that because you're doing them on a repeated basis. Like myself, you, you're doing them all the time. Even when I don't have orders in, I'm always in the shop crafting and creating and working on new stuff just to see uh, some projects I have never done. Like the video, uh, vid two, maybe two videos earlier, or a video earlier, uh, it was my first time doing a leather valet tray. Now that's something that's never been a part of my product line, but hey, that was in a time frame to where I can sit down and really focus on trying to do one and it turned out great. Not just so much because the artwork and the tooling work is the same. It doesn't matter what project you're working on. You know, the artwork and the tooling work is the same. You just got to know how to fit that artwork and tooling work into that particular piece. And then everything else after that, hey, it's all off to the races. But today... Today, we're going to get off into doing custom watch bands. Now, I'm not going to do one for the iPhone or for the Apple phone. I didn't spend a whole bunch of money on buying Apple watches. This is just a regular Android watch or Android smart watch. And this came compliments of Wish app. Now, to some of you out there, who actually hate overseas or don't like buying stuff from overseas. Okay, whatever. But I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> try to go buy one of these at your local um, cell phone stores and see how much you pay as opposed to spending $3 on the Wish. And it does the exact same thing. So, you know, my thing is not to sell the watch, even though I know that a lot of people are in high demand over the smart watches, or even it doesn't have to necessarily be a smart watch. A lot of people are into the fitness, so you can get the Fitbit watches or the Fit watches and incorporate those into leather crafting, and you can sell those and make a lot of money off of them. Now, just so to show you guys, scrap piece, of leather, nothing fancy, snazzy, just some oddball. Now I did go ahead and pre-mark um, my lines off because we're gonna cut this and make these out. And then I have some, uh, oh, this is it. This is the one in 1.5 to two ounce. This is for my bands or for my straps on the, the watch. Now I'm not gonna do the smart watch. I'm just gonna do a regular watch regular watch and these are the bands that uh, I, I took off of here again courtesy of which these watches were every bit of one dollar and I have them in various colors which is great 
as far as incorporating that with leather because as in this one here the numbers are green the watch is green and black so i got a lot of room and areas to be creative with the color choice on this watch band uh, as well as the threading, what color I want to sew the thread. So I could do a black watch band, tool it up, and then stitch it together with green wax thread. It will pull everything together that's on the face of this watch. Or I can go in and do a green watch band and then stitch it in black, uh, black wax thread. I got a whole bunch of things to be creative of. And it's the exact same thing that was taken out of the original watch band. Black watch band, green thread. Simple. You don't have to make this any harder than what it needs to be. But my point that I want to drive home is a nice custom watch band. And this, boys and girls, this is what I want you to really pay attention to, ladies and gentlemen. The watches come free the watch comes free with the band. Now, if the customer don't want the watch band, simple. All you have to do is take the pins out, remove the watch, and put the pins back into the band, and you can ship it the exact same way. So if they already have a watch, then all you do is take the measurements between the prongs, and this is gonna be a five millimeter right here. You just take the measurements between the prongs, and then you send that to the customer. Tell the customer or the client, hey, look, what I need you to do is to measure between the two points to make sure that you get the right width band that will fit your watch. Now, I wouldn't imagine somebody trying to put a Roly uh, or a Tiger Hewitt uh, on a leather watch band. You probably could. No problem with that. If that's what they, if that's how they roll, that's how they roll. So that's the great part about leather customization is you can do exactly what the customer wants. If not, what I would suggest to keep you from being bogged down, to keep you from being bogged down with a whole bunch of orders, uh, custom orders or what, you can go back and sit back in your spare time, take a bunch of leather stuff and just craft you up about five or 10 of these and just put them out on your social media platform or put them on your website or put them on whatever avenues uh, or platform that you sell your stuff on and then say, hey, this is what it is. This is what I have ready to ship today. Then you, you let the customer pick one or pick several and then get your pay, get paid, uh, fold your money and ship it off. And then, hey, it's all good. Now you got money that's sitting back and generating to where you can go back and buy more leather or more material. Again, this is we're still sticking with that same theme of just getting a single shoulder. A single shoulder leather hide, and you can get two different hides. Uh, the one that we're using today is a three to four ounce, and this is what I'm using for the back, for the cuff. And that's the style that I'm gonna show you guys how to make. It's not just the custom watch bands. We're gonna make a watch cuff, or we're gonna make basically a leather cuff, just like we did with the inlaid stone. The same measurements and everything is still the same as a cuff, but guess what? Boop. We just gonna put that watch on top of it. Hey, that's how you keep it pimping. That's how you keep maxim uh, maximizing your money. You keep everything on a simple scale to where you already know what the measurements are. And you don't have to do anything different from that. Nothing different from that. So, uh, and the only thing uh, I'm really extra that you're going to do is probably have that particular client or customer measure their wrist. And they're going to tell you it's going to be anywhere from a seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half. And maybe if they're a little husky, like what we used to call down in the South, a little husky, they got a little meat on the gristle right there, then they might go up into the nines and tens. But that's not bad because look how much room we got to play with. So depending on what your customer, that's why I love the crafters never throw away anything. You can always come back and make these small projects out of that to maximize and get full usage of your level. 
So, I've talked long enough. We're at the 940. So, what I'm going to do, I've already showed you guys the material that we're going to work with. I've already showed you guys and cut out the measurements and all of that stuff. I'm going to put the video on pause and then go ahead and get to work. And then as I get this thing tooled out and, and all put together right, then we're going to show you how we're going to just make, sit back and make these leather watch cuffs. And that's gonna, they're gonna turn out great. They're gonna turn out phenomenal. And then you could turn around. Now there's one dollar watch that you that you just bought from Wish. Now, and I buy like 10 of these at a time. Since they're only a dollar a piece, I might as well just go ahead and buy 10. So that way I got $10 into the product and the leather I already have. I just need to get full usage out of this and make all of my money out of every square inch of my leather and then we probably go not probably I'm gonna put a $65 price tag and depending on how much detail and I do to it but just I would suggest and that's a nice price ladies and gentlemen that's a nice price anywhere from 55 to 85 dollars now some crafters depending on your skill level you can even go up further than that now and then with the apple watches or the, not the apple watches but the smart watches you can even get up into the hundred dollar range with these very easily you can get into the hundred dollar range with the with the smart watches so again let me pause the video, get to work a little bit, show you guys just some simple tooling and pattern work that we're going to put on these, and then put them out there and get them done. So, hey, I hope you get a chance to come back and see the second video to where we're going to be pretty much further down the road, and I'll show you guys how to put this together. Now, first thing first, just to give you guys the pattern before I sign off, this is going to be a 7.5 inch band, the 7.5 inch cuff. And the watch is centered. I think you guys can see my little uh, X mark right there. That's where my watch face is going to go right on top of that. So I know just how much room I get the tool and play with. Then I'm going to come back with the 1.5. This is going to be my straps. And I'm going to strap these into my watch. And I'm going to snap, not snap rivet, but straight rivet on some double cap rivets. I might not use my double cap rivet because the other part of the rivet you won't be able to see. And then we're going to rivet those straps to there so the, the watch will be stationary. And then the customer really can just attach it with the snaps that we're going to attach just like we did with the, uh, the leather cuff. We're going to drop some snaps in there and then that's how they will hold it onto the wrist. Now, if you really want to go the extra mile, you can put some double straps on there. And the great part about that is with these watches, you can keep the buckles and reuse the hardware. So you don't have to spend any extra money on hardware. Um, and just to show you guys some stuff that I've already made, there's another um, watch a buckle that I can use if I do decide to do a double strap buckle on these. Just be creative and do what makes you feel right. But if you don't, then hey, you don't have to use these. You can keep these in stock and that's less hardware you have to go and buy later on. All right, now let me get to work. See you guys on the next video just to give you a heads up on what we're doing. We're sticking with the same theme of doing small projects that can maximize your money and you can use that out of um, leather that's either scrapped or left over or you can stick with that single shoulder and we're just going to be making custom leather watch cuffs bands or watch band cuffs however you want to title that it's totally up to you this is leather cowboy right here at premier leather crafters see you guys in a few with the second video to doing these watch bands all right peace